Okay, coming to you today from the su home of Susie Homemaker. Yes, it's me, the homemaker. Home, staying home, staying in, sheltering in. So we're gonna try once more to make meringue. Now the other day I made it using a recipe and a beater, but that's not how my mom makes and it didn't come out just exactly like hers and hers is the best, so of course I'm gonna try it again, but it's hers is really hard. So here's what we need, we need the special plate. The only thing this plate has ever made for is to make a meringue. There's nothing that ever touches this because all, all these eggs. Meringue. Her special egg beater. Three eggs at room temperature. They're not quite room temperature. Oops, I need a little bowl for them. Okay, so we have to separate the eggs. So I'm gonna put them in here and um, my little egg separator, so separate the yolks. A little cream of tartar and some sugar. Now, I never remember the sugar when I was making this with the mother before, but the recipe called for it and I didn't like it, so maybe we'll put some in. Maybe that's what makes it stand in peaks and valleys or whatever, so we'll see. Okay, so here we go. So, first of all, turn this you can see it. I'm going to separate the eggs. Here's my sous chef, right? Yeah. Okay. So separate the eggs. Roger, I need another bowl because I didn't bring the right bowl over here. Just a little bowl. Put the egg yolks in. Just a little bowl for egg yolks. Okay. We're going to put them back in the refrigerator, so maybe just a little cup like this is what I was thinking. My sous chef. Just a little glass is fine. See a little glass? Pla a glass glass is better for eggs. I've learned this. You must make eggs in glass not plastic. So here's one egg yolk. Second egg yolk. Turn this a little bit this way for y'all to see better. Okay, because I know y'all want to know every step of what I'm doing. So you can see here the little egg stuff that's coming out. It's really careful, you can't get any egg yolk in the egg whites. Very, very important. Of course, you know, if it's me, I'd just be buying the egg whites in the carton, but I don't think that's how my mother would do it, so we're gonna to try to follow the correct instructions. Okay, there's two egg yolks, I mean two egg whites, and our third one. Now, if my mom were here, she'd probably be doing four egg whites just to beat me, because she's done this to me before. So we'll see if um, this is enough to make these things. Okay. Now, the way that she mixes the egg yolks up it's all in the wrist movement, and that's why it gets so exhausting. Um, anybody who's ever made this with me, my friend Stan Tucker and I did this once. Well, okay, he and mother made it. I, just, I went to the store instead. It was too much work. But um, I have done this before, like once, maybe twice. Usually with mother watching, so that heavy mom here with me. We will see how this does. Whoops, see, egg yolks, I mean egg whites. Come on. Probably a way to get them to come off here better than what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. So now we have our three egg whites going into our special bowl. Ooh, there's a tail in there, can't have that. Mother didn't say that, but that's just me. I don't like stuff. Okay. Now we're ready. So now we're gonna pour. I know, this is the hard part. Okay, so here we go. So here's mother's platter and we're gonna pour the egg whites in here. This is crazy, I know. And we're gonna start whipping them up. 
And I know with her, this is a special technique, and of course, I'm almost already, already not doing it right. Kind of, you gotta kind of tilt the thing a little bit. Ugh, I'm probably gonna drop this thing and break it. But, see my fabulous technique that I think I have? Now, I don't know why we couldn't do this in the mixer. It just seems like to me, it would just mix. Oh, there it is, it's already doing this thing. But you know, hers comes out just incredibly light. And the other stuff I made the other day, the meringue, it was okay. I mixed it, made it in the blender, had a, the tartar sauce and a you know, quarter cup of sugar. But it was a little thicker than I remember and um, definitely not as light as hers. So, oh, this is so exhausting, okay. And you can't do too fast because that's not good for the egg. It's kind of like when she makes dressing and how she folds it all together and you can't go too fast and you can't stir it and you have to do this and that. That's why she's a great cook. Unfortunately, neither Phoebe nor I had any interest in cooking. You know, my brother was a great chef. He made the biggest mess in the kitchen. Oh my God, you love eating his food, but you know, he was his thing was, if I made it, you're gonna clean up after me. It's like, Ugh. you know, I'll just go to the store and buy it, definitely clean up, but his food was fabulous. He made these cookies one time. Oh man, it's really tiring. He made these cookies one time that were, um, let's see, coconut, pecan, oatmeal, that's my stuff. Oatmeal and um, con oatmeal, chocolate chips. Anyway, fabulous cookies. Oh, look at my little stuff. It's starting to do something. Look at. Can y'all see that? Seriously, I don't see why I couldn't use a beater for this. <sighs> I have to do fast forward on all this. In fact, I think I'll do a time lapse for you guys. Okay, so now this is looking pretty good. So I think now it's when we put the cream of tartar in. So let me try that. Okay, the recipe I found before said a quarter a teaspoon. So I'm gonna try that and see if this is okay. Well. Guess I'll do fat really good now too. Ah. Yeah, this stuff is starting. Look at this. This is looking this is looking more like mom's. Look how frothy this is. I guess you have to also be careful not to overbeat it. She didn't, she didn't mention that. I can't remember this part. Look how much I got. I mean, this, that's three egg whites. Look at that. I wonder if she ever sugar in hers. I don't know if it's just needs sugar, but I guess it's got to get, get thicker, though, to go over the pie. I don't know. It's making peaks. You know what? I'm going to put a tiny bit of sugar in here, but I'm not putting a bunch of sugar in here. I'll just put a little bit of sugar. I don't think we need sugar. Of course, this may taste totally weird, you know. that see it's standing up I think I should just go ahead and try it and see what happens can't be worse than last time okay here we go we're gonna come over here to the pie where my pie is here's my pie Oops. okay sorry about that technology yes there's the pie okay now Put this on my pie. Oops. It's butterscotch pie, by the way. Let's just. Oh yeah, this is much, this is much better than the other day. Much better.
Oh yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is how she did it. Yeah, this is much better than the mixer I used the other day. I mean, much better. I should probably do this some other way. I need a spoon. Let me get a spoon to scrape it off. Okay. Yeah, I put hardly any sugar in this, so God knows what this is going to taste like, but at least it looks right. This looks much better than the one I did the other day. Now it's got a stick and peak, so remember that part. Because it got to brown all the little chips, that's what I remember. Not too many chips, I guess. And all the way over to the edge. Now we're going to cook this in the oven for, I think it's like five minutes maybe, or less. Okay, I'll be back when it's done. Oh my goodness, it came out beautifully. Can't wait for it to cool.